happy morning children how are you all i hope you are good okay children today in this class we are going to see our chapter 2 in our subject science before getting enter into our subject take a pencil book what are all the things i am underlining in this lesson just underline it and at last i give you few questions as your homework so listen the class carefully children is get ready take a pencil what is our chapter 2 adaptations in plants and its uses adaptations what is this adaptations in plants and its uses what is adaptation that is suitable place suitable place for different kinds of plants and its uses what is today's day 13 7 put today's date okay all plants are not of same kind yes or no children yes all kinds are not of same kind and there are so many types of plants found on the earth at different places at different places some plants live on land some live in water some float on water some are in desert some are on mountains and some are on cold regions the best example some animals you can able to see on land and some others in water and some others in both land and water yes children in the same way some plants will live on land water float on water desert mountains are, and or in cold regions the main thing related to that is children see now the place where an organism the place where an organism or a plant live is known as its habitat okay children the place where an organism whatever it may be it may be a human being plant animals which place suits for them to live is known as habitat the main factors which divide the hab- which decide the habitat of plants are type of soil rainfall temperature and altitude these types they are depending on these types types of soil rainfall temperature and altitude according to their habitats plants are of two types how many types two types shall we see that one yes it is of two types terrestrial plants and the next one is aquatic plants terrestrial plants and aquatic terrestrial is nothing but a land the plant terrestrial is nothing but land the plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants the plants that grow on land there are many kinds of terrestrial plants because of different types of climate and soil we are having different types of land as yes or no it sometimes it may be plain it may be even uneven like that we are having no yes plants in plains some land plants live in hot and dry weather hot and dry weather they utilize only little water trees like the best example for that one is see same mango people banyan tree shed their leaves why they are shedding their leaves to protect them from cold weather to protect them from cold weather and hot weather they are called deciduous trees they are called deciduous trees terrestrial is nothing but land plant that grow on land lands are of different types mountains plateaus like that even and uneven surfaces will be there and depending upon the climate and soil it will vary the first one is plants in plains these plants live in hot and dry weather the best example for this is shishim mango people and banyan they shed their leaves to protect themselves from hot weather and cold weather they are called deciduous trees here one fact bamboo is a tree or grass ma yes bamboo is a grass it flowers only once in its lifetime it flowers only once in its lifetime bamboo is a type of grass here yeah. key point is there what is that adaptation the process of making oneself 
suitable for new conditions habitat the natural home or environment of an organism shall we move to the next one please examples for plants in plain that is mango tree and then sesame tree next one is plants in hilly areas we can able to see the difference between these plants no it is a bushy in structure this one it is not bushy it is very tall and straight yes some plants grow on mountains in cold places such as kashmir uti himachal pradesh in these areas the trees grow very tall and straight how it will be very tall and straight and it also have a needle like leaves what is that needle like leaves bear cones instead of flowers instead of flowers they have cones the best example for this one is pine deodar spruce fir here some images are given here the first one is pine tree the next one is deodar and this one is fir tree some plants grow on mountains in cold places such as kashmir uti and himachal pradesh they grow very tall and straight their leaves are needle like structure and instead of flowers they are having cones the best example for this one is pine deodar and spruce shall we go for next one is plants next one is plants in hilly areas this one plants in hilly areas this one is plants in hilly areas tea plants tea plants grow on hill slopes and valleys why why they are growing in slope like structure due to heavy rainfall assam and darjeeling are the main tea growing regions of our country first one plants first one plants on plains next one plants on hills i told you no plants on hills yes here also tea plant also best example for this one it grow on hill slopes and valleys why due to heavy rainfall uh, place for that one is assam and darjeeling they are the main tea producers of our country the next to that is plants in coastal areas coastal is nothing but the place or area near the sea the area near the sea is called coastal area in this area water water will be i think you all tasted that sea water no it will be salty and the climate is usually humid humid is nothing but that water vapor content will be high in the atmosphere some plants like coconut and teak trees grow in this tree they are known as evergreen trees why they are called as evergreen trees they do not shed their leaves they do not shed their leaves the best example for this one is rubber pepper and sugar cane also grow in such climate the biggest fruit is double coconut here one fact is given the biggest fruit is double coconut again i am repeating plants in coastal areas area that is area near the sea is coastal areas it will be the water will be salty and the climate is usually humid means water vapor content will be high in atmosphere the example for this one is coconut rubber pepper sugar cane they are called as evergreen trees because they do, do not shed their leaves shall we go for next one yes here the examples for a um, hill um, the examples are given here teak wood then coconut that is uh, coastal areas for coastal areas examples are given here teak wood coconut and rubber tree next to that is plants in desert desert means what is the main thing what are all the things you can able to remember yes only little amount of we will get only little amount of water we will get only little amount of water we will get only little amount of water some plants grow in desert where very little water is available where 
very little water is available these plants use very little water and also store water in their stems these plants use very little water they do not lose water because their leaves are very small and spine like structure is yes. spine like structure spine like here their stems perform the function of leaf by expanding and bearing green color chlorophyll to perform photosynthesis i told you the leaf is the food factory of the plant we read in the first lesson but in plants of deserts the stem will perform the function of a leaf to perform photosynthesis okay children shall we move to the next one the best example for this one is cactus plants in desert the example for this one is cactus next one is aquatic plants terrestrial i told you different types plants in plains plants in hilly areas plants in coastal and plants in desert then these are uh, kinds of the plants that live in land next to that is aquatic plants aquatic is nothing but grow in water the plants grow in water are called aquatic plants there are three types of aquatic plants floating plants fixed plants submerged or underground under water plants floating plants fixed plants and submerged or under water plants floating plants these plants are light and spongy light and spongy so they can float on water floating means these plants will flo float on water the best example is green alga duckweed pistia water hyacinth hyacinth these plants are light and spongy so they can float on water the best example for this one is green alga duckweed pistia water hyacinth here what is this hyacinth this is the best example spine means is nothing but a needle like structure shall we move to the next one yes fixed plants plants like what is this flower name yes lotus plants like lotus and water lily are fixed to the bed of the pond they have long stems which are hollow and light uh, leaves are generally broad floating having stomata on the upper surface of the leaf having stomata on the upper surface of the leaf next one is submerged or underwater plants plants like tape grass plants like tape grass and hydrilla grow below the water surface their narrow leaves have no stomata their narrow leaves have no stomata they breathe through their water body they absorb the carbon dioxide which they get from water given by the aquatic animals during respiration all living beings they breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide here the aquatic animals that are like the frog fishes and all will be there in the water no they breathe out carbon dioxide no that carbon dioxide they will utilize that carbon dioxide for photosynthesis that is why we use such plants in aquarium we use such plants in aquarium here an aquatic plant having the biggest leaf is of victoria 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 amazonica victoria amazonica victoria amazonica okay children i think you all understood this session now we are entering into our homework part this is your today's homework try to get the answers for these questions and write it in your homework note children the first question is what are terrestrial plants next one where do you find trees like mango banyan or sesame third one which trees are known as deciduous trees next name two plants that grow in hilly area next what type of adaptations we find in desert plants next one which plant show needle like leaves okay children see you in the next class thank you